Uh, since there's only two jobs of the landing page, if we start with our corporate template, and our corporate template has a lot of jobs, it needs to let people know what categories of products we have or services, where they can go to find out, it can tell them about the company, it can give them an opportunity to contact, it can talk about the brands or the types of things that we offer on the site. It's supposed to make the company look amazing. None of this is the job of the landing page unless, unless those things make the visitor more likely to take action. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about the, the components. So we want to start with a blank page. We start with a page that has nothing on it. And so your, your content management system needs to have a template that is nothing. Uh, so we start with keeping the promise. We mix in a little bit of form, a way to take action. In the simplest form, is just a button. And we build from there. Uh, that's really interesting, the, the, the button. Uh, should there be, you know, uh, if you're looking to collect email addresses, uh, names, or whatever information you are before you, they, people click that button, uh, what are, you, are, you, are you suggesting that the contact form should be on that page? Or once they click that button, then the, um, the contact form that they, you want people to fill out um, pops up? Both are valid, and it's really going to depend on your offer, um, how much information you're asking for. Because what happens is, sure, a button isn't going to help our business, so we have to ask for an email address, an email address with permission. If we're going to ask them to buy something, um, we'll, we need to ask for the credit card number, your name, your address, the CVV, the expiration date. If we're asking qualifying questions in a lead generation situation, we're asking them their title. We're asking them if they're going to make a decision in six months. We're asking them how much they have to budget personal questions and we create a contamination in our experience, experiment called abandon. And when we're talking about abandon, we use the symbol, the periodic table symbol for Argon because when someone abandons your website, they are gone, trust us. You're not gonna get them back probably. So we wanna minimize abandonment as much as possible. This is where the other components come in. So we can ask our copywriter to write some copy that will build up the value proposition. So we have the promise, but we need to build the value proposition behind that promise, make it counter the fact that we're asking for more information and more personal information in our form, and also to manage a few objectives. So a good copywriter should be able to do the research to understand what points they need to make. Sometimes they'll need long form copy, sometimes they'll need short form copy. Uh, it just depends on how much time you need to spend to really build out the complete value proposition. The copy also should include image, an image of some sort, and I can expand upon what images not to include. And then a couple catalysts, proof and trust need to be mixed in there. And this helps, bring, these don't react with the other elements, but they help it burn faster, help increase your conversion rates. Once you have all these components, only then should you bring the designer in to arrange them so that the, the eyes of your visitors are finding the important things on the page and moving through the decision-making process. Can you just highlight those, those five components again for us? Yeah, so we start with a pure solution of web page and we mix in some offer. The offer is easy, it just needs to keep the promise made in the ad. If you don't know what the promise is that brings people to a landing, to the landing page, you're not building a landing page, you're probably building a home page. Mix in some form so that they can take action. And uh, when we realize we're getting abandoned because we're asking for information, we want to add some image um, uh, and, and copy to expand that out. And we can make the, the, the reaction burn better by adding some proof and some trust building. What's the first trust builder you're going to put on a landing page? It's typically going to be your logo because you're stamping the page uh, with the, the sentiment that we approve this message. So even if you're not a well-known brand, that's a good reason to use your logo. Now, if you start with a corporate template, you're gonna start with the logo, and you have the logo on there, but all this other stuff. So we use logos and things very purposefully on a landing page. That's your, you mix it up and you'll get an effective landing page uh, that you can be te begin testing your way to increase conversion rates.